go ahead and get started. Welcome everyone. My name is Craig Shallowhammer. I'm the founder and president of Warpub. And today I'm gonna to be talking about detailing Oracle CPU consumption, the missing link. Now I call it the missing link because while Oracle gives us CPU consumption information in summary at the process level, it doesn't tell us what the process is actually doing when it's consuming CPU. And that's the focus of this session. Now, first of all, I want you to know how to get a hold of me and connect with me because usually there's quite a few questions and inquiries after this presentation. There are a number of ways you can contact me. Probably the best way is simply to email me at craig at orpub.com. Another way is to follow me on Twitter and you can give me a message that way as well. But in terms of getting resources that I have available for you, probably orpub.com is the best place to start. I am also on LinkedIn, so you can message me or send me an email through LinkedIn as well. Now, in terms of my background, I'm a longtime Oracle DBA, and I specialize in Oracle performance optimization or tuning. I also do a lot of work in capacity planning and predictive analysis. I'm also an Oracle DBA. I do a lot of conference speaking, and I do a lot of teaching publicly in my instructor-led classes, but also on-site at the private companies as well. I also have a really active blog, which I call my research blog, because that's where I post my core research that gets turned into conference presentations and my course material. So there's a lot of ways that you can follow what I'm doing and find out more about me. But again, you can always email me. So enough about myself, let's get into the presentation. Here's a core question that is so pure and simple and straightforward that it's very difficult to answer sometimes. A manager comes to you and says, hey, you told me Oracle processes are consuming a lot of CPU. So what's Oracle doing with all that CPU? I mean, that is such a core, basic, necessary question. Well, you might answer, well, lots of good stuff. That is not the way to advance your career as an Oracle DBA, but still it's a valid question. A better answer would be, well, let's look at the wait time and infer what Oracle's doing with that CPU consumption. And that's what most of us do most of the time. And usually that works out really well. But sometimes we might wanna know a little more detail so we can give a better answer this would be the best answer. You could say, for example, and I'm just reading this off the slide right now, I said, I sampled a number of vocal processes and I found that around 80% of the CPU consumption is associated with getting consistent read blocks that reside in the buffer cache. Essentially, this is logical I.O. or buffered I.O. processing. That is one way, a nice thorough way to explain that. But a more techie answer the answer that I'm going to show you how to get is going to be something like this. Sampling a number of Oracle processes, around 80% of the CPU consumption is associated with this Oracle kernel function, KCBGTCR. Wow, how did we come up with that KCG function? That is what I'm going to show you how to get. But before we get there, we kind of have to work our way there. So here's the agenda. First, we're going to start out with a quick introduction on Oracle time-based analysis because CPU consumption is an integral part of an Oracle time-based analysis. So we've got to talk about that. Then we're going to detail CPU consumption. And to do that, we've got to go outside of Oracle. Once we're able to get that detailed CPU consumption, then we want to merge that together with our wait time so we can get like a full perspective of the time in detail. And then I'm gonna show you an actual script that you can download right now and run on your systems. And then I'll give you some resources for some next steps. So, first of all, what is 